So NoHo is a very small neighborhood in Manhattan, but I do have to say, there's a lot of stuff packed in to this very small neighborhood. The location of NoHo is absolutely great. I mean, it borders so many great iconic neighborhoods in Manhattan. So the neighborhood is located in a very prime downtown area. So if you look on the map, you're bordering Greenwich Village, you're bordering East Village, you're bordering Union Square, you're bordering Soho, Nolita. I mean, it, it's an endless list of these really, really great neighborhoods with just so much going on in and around these neighborhoods. So when I see people moving to NoHo, it's definitely because they wanna be around these neighborhoods. And I honestly don't blame them because I think it's a very, very good location. I would say that the subway transportation, not so much directly in NoHo, but in and around NoHo is very, very good. You can really catch trains almost anywhere you're going in Manhattan. And it's not one of those neighborhoods that has like these obscure trains running through it where you're just like, I'm gonna have to take two to three trains to get somewhere. It's definitely not that case at all. You're pretty much able to get anywhere on a direct train. So a lot of people in NoHo love being close to Washington Square Park. So NoHo is a landlocked neighborhood, meaning it's not a waterfront neighborhood, but I always feel like having some greenery in a landlocked neighborhood is definitely the best case scenario for a neighborhood like that because sometimes you at least feel like when you're stepping into a park, you're kind of stepping outside of the city for a bit. And some people love that about Washington Square Park. Now, NoHo also, strangely enough, has a lot of fitness facilities in the neighborhood. So this is a trend that I've noticed kind of like popping up over the past like few years in NoHo. But every time I go there, I swear there's like a new fitness studio opening up. It's crazy. So you are not gonna have a problem staying fit if you live in this neighborhood because there's plenty of options for you. So Great Jones Distillery actually recently opened up in the neighborhood as well. So if you haven't been to Great Jones Distillery, it is the first whiskey distillery in Manhattan after the prohibition. So it's literally a piece of history. It's kind of crazy if you think about it. And as you could tell probably from my reaction in this video, I love Great Jones Distillery. So I'm definitely a whiskey girl and I do love Great Jones in particular. I love their whiskey. So I highly recommend you taking a trip there. And if you don't like whiskey, they do have other stuff as well and also restaurants in the facility as well. NoHo is very, very small, but I actually think for such a small neighborhood, there are a lot of really great dining spots in the neighborhood. So even though it's so small, between that and like a few other neighborhoods nearby, you don't have to leave the neighborhood and the surrounding area because there's a lot of really good options there. So there are some shops in NoHo. However, it is a very, very small neighborhood. So there's not a ton there, but between NoHo and Soho, you're gonna have all your shopping needs literally right there for you within a few minutes walk. So I would say that one thing about NoHo that a lot of people love is that NoHo is near a lot of very, very lively neighborhoods. However, the actual streets of NoHo in particular tend to be quieter than the surrounding neighborhoods that are lively, like I said. So because of that, people are near the action. However, the actual street that they may live on might be quieter than being like living in an apartment in the middle of Greenwich Village or East Village. So a lot of people like that they're near all the action, but it's quiet where they directly live. So NoHo also actually has somewhat of an art scene. Now it's not a huge neighborhood for art, but you will find some of that there from time to time. So I did mention that there was a lot of good dining spots, but in and around around NoHo, there are also some great brunch spots as well. So I know that kind of goes hand in hand with dining, but honestly, I think that like a dinner spot and a brunch spot are two very different things. So there aren't a ton of places that do really, really well at both. There are some, but of, there are some, of course, New York City. But I do think that there are some really good brunch spots that are in walking distance of NoHo as well. So that's 10 things that you're gonna love about living in NoHo. Now, if there's anything I missed in this video, or if you have any questions about the neighborhood, please leave it in the comments of this video, because as always, I love hearing from you guys.